Hi, this is Deborah Cook. This is Thursday, November 5th, 2015. And what you're looking at on screen is my friend Matthew's website, Circle Makers TV. Um, and it's a really cool website. And uh, one thing I want to direct you to is go to Scandal. If you go to Scandal right here and you scroll down to Christopher Everard Twathead because uh, Christopher Everard likes to have things removed off of YouTube. So Matthew uh, posts them on his website. And thank you, Matthew. And Matthew gave me permission to make this video. So if you want to scroll th through this, make it full screen, scroll through this, and you can see the Christopher Everard-conman.com uh, forum that we have. And um, you can read about how Christopher Everard wants to sue YouTube for 48 million pounds. Right there. He has claimed YouTube, therefore, owe him 48 million pounds in compensation. Yeah, that's Christopher Everard. Um, meanwhile, Christopher Everard steals all of his footage and images on any of the DVDs that he sells to people. It's all stolen stuff anyway. But yet, he's trying to say that YouTube owes him 48 million pounds. Hmm. Okay. Um, I want to play this video for you. It's an excellent video that Matthew did, and um, I thanked him for it. I mean, Matthew didn't even have to do this. He did it on his, all on his own, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. So I'm putting it up here, and, and this has been removed from YouTube countless, countless, countless times. Okay, and I'm going to put it up once again because this is Matthew's website, this is Matthew's video, and Matthew gave me permission to post this. Yes, but uh, Christopher Everard, the self-professed public figure, uh, screams privacy when it suits him. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so here we go. This is Matthew's video. It's amazing. Um, Matthew has such a great sense of humor, and this video always cracks me up. So if you hear me laughing in the background, that's why. Okay, here's the video. It's great. Hello, Matthew Williams here with a video to talk to you about Mr. Christopher Everard. And Mr. Everard, being the idiot that he is, really has a massive, massive fucking ego about himself. I mean, you know, this fucking guy... He really thinks, he really thinks that the fucking sun shines out of his own arse. Um, I have been sent a load of materials which are going to make it into the, the Everard special that I do at some point, um, where we'll invite in guests and uh, we'll have live uh, sort of interviews with um, people over Skype talking about Mr. Everard. Um, but this is going to, this is going to be um, some of the, materials that will go into that so you can kind of make yourself aware of what we're going to be dealing with before the show starts so that you can kind of get yourself more involved. But anyway, um, this is a 62 page, <laughs> 62 page PDF I'm reading called the YouTube Dossier 2009. And uh, this is by Christopher Everard, who's complaining that his videos have appeared pirated on YouTube and other places, mostly complaining about YouTube. And he's talking about himself um, in some very glowing colors here. I mean, like the, the fucking sun really does shine out of this guy's fucking ass. So I'm just going to read some excerpts from this, and then you can go and have a look at the full document if you really wish to, you know, sort of... Uh, evacuate the contents of your stomach, you know, by actually indulging in reading this document, um, then, okay, let's just get into it. Right, I can't show you the document here on screen because it would be his copyright, and then his copyright means that he would fucking complain to YouTube, so I'm going to read, read what is in this document, okay, um, excerpts from it as a review, okay. So, Christopher Everard is a British film director, okay? Um, it says, Christopher Everard is Britain's most well-known documentary filmmaker, right? This is the opening line of a 62-page fucking document, right? And we're, we're like one half sentence in, 
okay? And we're already into historically fucking bullshit information. Christopher Everard is Britain's most well-known documentary filmmaker. Really? Really? I'm almost at the point where I want to fucking stop this video and just get a fucking, get a fucking sledgehammer and smash the contents of my fucking room up for hearing so much fucking bullshit, right? Yeah, I've never heard such a fucking, so stupid a statement in my life, right? Not only is he not really a very good fucking documentary filmmaker, right? They're not films, okay? They're not films, yeah? They're videos, okay? And as videos, they have not been shown on television, right? The only place these fucking things make it out is on DVD or on a stupid fucking place called the Enigma TV channel, yeah? Which is a pay-per-view fucking type experience where you pay to watch nothing but fucking Christopher Everard talking out of his own arse videos, yeah? Right? Okay? Rubbish quality, right? Made on his fucking Mac at home, yeah? With pictures and videos stolen off the fucking internet in low quality, low fucking quality, and just poached together with fucking poached music, poached videos, poached photographs, fucking poached information with an added fucking little drip of bullshit, you know, Christopher Everard style, yeah, put in there, yeah. That's what he calls a documentary, okay? He says it, 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 his historical films about Edwardian and Georgian secret societies, space exploration, paranormal research, ancient civilizations, and the death of Princess Diana have been illegally broadcast and then syndicated by Google Incorporated without permission. Not only that, but Google Incorporated have been s selling advertising space alongside his copyrighted works. Now Christopher Everard wants compensation and justice. Oh dear. It's then he sends off a letter to um, Google's copyright infringement place in uh, Barrow Street in Dublin, and uh, you know this is a, from this is from his letter. He says, "I complied with YouTube, YouTube sorry, hiccups, YouTube's removal process, filled in the submitted DCMA forms, which are copyright forms, and successfully asserted that I was the true owner, true owner of the copyrights." of my Illuminati and secret space films in May 1996. At that time, more than 80% of the factual content of YouTube was made up of clips from my motion pictures. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. This, this prick, Christopher Everard, has just made the statement that 80% 80% of the fucking material of a factual nature was made up of clips from his documentaries. 80%. 80, right. Uh, 80% of YouTube. So when you go on YouTube and you watch The Dog Whisperer or you watch, you know, fucking aircraft, fucking aircraft to fall out of the sky, um, you know, videos or, um, you know, anything from the National Geographic channel or sci-fi channel or, you know, UFO videos that have been done by Sky TV, all that, all that stuff, right? All that stuff. All that stuff, National Geographic, everything that has been pirated onto YouTube, apparently all that material, all of it, all that fucking material, 80% of it has been stolen from Christopher Everard videos. Okay? So Christopher Everard has literally, has literally hundreds of thousands of professionally paid cameramen and hundreds of thousands of editors and tens of thousands of directors who are all out there around the globe 
right? In every country, filming material, right? A filming material for all these television channels, right? Which actually belong to Christopher Everard. 80% of it. 80% of the material on YouTube, up there illegally, factual content was made up from my motion pictures, right? He uses the words my motion pictures okay so this is this is the fucking this is the level of the man we are dealing with here right i mean you know people think i'm being unfair to mr everard in in taking the piss this is the type of person we are dealing with okay then he then he goes on to say um basically YouTube and Google violated the fair use guidelines of me as many of the clips exceeded the 10 minute rule. And I'm now claiming damages. Right. Then he shows pictures of the Enigma TV channel, you know, which is his fucking TV channel thingy, which isn't really a TV channel because it's on the Internet. And TV channels are broadcast through fucking airwaves, right, or cable systems that have millions of people watching them every day. Yeah, and a broadcast. Yeah, this is not a TV channel. It is a internet subscriber fucking channel. There's nothing broadcast about it at all. Yeah, nothing broadcast whatsoever. Okay, then he goes on to say that um, Christopher Everard is the sole proprietor of GBC. Australian Independent Media's AIM and the Enigma Network, okay, which comprises the Enigma Channel, Enigma Radio Network, and Enigma Motion Pictures. Right. Well, can I can I can I can I stop it there? Right. Okay. GBC is a company that doesn't exist. Australian Independent Media's doesn't exist. The Enigma Network. Well, of course, the Enigma Network is. Enigma TV, it's the same fucking thing, yeah, okay? The Enigma Channel, Enigma Radio Network, and Enigma Motion Pictures. Motion pictures, what, you mean pictures that move, that happen to move on a screen? Because that's about as close as Mr. Everard has ever been to fucking motion pictures, is producing little videos on a fucking home computer which get delivered via DVD and the fucking internet because there's nothing this guy does which could be considered motion pictures, right? But listen on, because then he goes on to say, Christopher Everard has written, snuff by the way, has written, produced and directed eight feature length documentaries and made for cinema slash theatrical release. Doesn't cinema mean actors, sets, directors, special effects, computer-generated effects, um, storylines, millions of dollars budget, um, you know, that's what cinema is about, cinema, cinema, you know, produced on 35 millimeter, produced you know, in 8K, 4K resolutions, yeah, high resolutions, um, Dolby Digital soundtracks, you know, uh, four channel, 5.1 channel, seven channel soundtracks, yeah, that's cinema. Cinema is movies. Movies go in the cinema. Cinema is this big building with lots of fucking seats for the person out the front selling tickets to watch pictures, motion pictures, movies, movies in the cinema. That's what a cinema is, right? Mr. Everard sitting on his computer pulling fucking static pictures and stealing YouTube clips, right, and using iMovie, right, fucking iMovie, he doesn't even use a professional fucking editing package, he uses iMovie on his Mac, right, to produce low quality, low fucking quality shit, yeah, is not, I'm afraid, by any way, shape or the, uh, way, shape or form of the fucking words, 
theatrical release. Okay? Let's just get that fucking straight. Okay? There is fuck all, yeah? Fuck all that is cinematic about his fucking movies at all. But he does go on to say, he says, and his television programs have been broadcast on networks such as Channel 4 Television in the United Kingdom. Which one? Which one has been broadcast on Channel 4 Television in the United Kingdom? There may have been a fucking small clip taken out of his documentaries and put on Channel 4 Television, but I'm sorry, Channel 4 would not... In my humble opinion, right, and I'm not, I'm not stating this as fact, but I'm stating this in humble opinion, Channel 4 has certain standards about the quality of what they broadcast. It has to be very well edited, very neat, very tidy. It has to have a good flow. It has to have an engaging, you know, moving quality timing. It has to be high quality, okay? Because Channel 4 is one of the premier real broadcast channels in the United Kingdom. And to get something shown on Channel 4, you have got to have a really, really good documentary and a good fucking track record. Okay? They do not show shit. And for this reason... I'm going to stake my fucking reputation on saying that he's never had anything shown on Channel 4 by way of a fucking full documentary, okay? He says he's been as a guest on the James Whale radio show, you know, the Ian Wright show, Richard and Judy, you know, Richard Cyrus show, the Coast to Coast. So have I. Doesn't make me a fucking documentary maker. Yeah, I've got YouTube videos. I'm not a fucking, I'm not going to go around calling myself a fucking broadcast channel because I've got a couple of videos on the fucking internet, yeah? And it's like, you know, it then says, Christopher Everard was the first person to establish a television network on the internet. Right? Christopher Everard was the first person to establish a television network on the internet. Okay. And it says that Christopher Everard presented a special lecture at the invitation of the Royal Television Society in July 2000 and is generally regarded as the innovator of internet television broadcasting. I think we better stop there. I, re I really think we better stop here now, you know, because, trust me, we're on page two of a 62-page document, and it really doesn't get much better than that. It really, it really doesn't get much better. We, we are, I'm just giving you the snippets here of just how much of a dickhead this guy is. And um, what's more interesting is that I have documentation which says that Mr. Everard believes, because he tried to claim from YouTube, that because his, his videos have had, um, you know, tens of thousands of views, he considers each view, each single view of his video to be worth £1,500 a piece. So somebody clicking on a video of his, click, well, that's £1,500 I'm owed from the YouTube now. Right? And he's added it up. Do you know how much he thinks he's owed? How much he put in a claim? A claim? Invoiced claim to YouTube? 48 million pounds. That's how much Mr. Everard believes he's owed. 48 million pounds. Good motherfucking bye for now because I'm going to get fucking angry in a minute if I have to keep on fucking putting this on. So read read this on Circle Makers TV because I'm going to put the, the PDFs and I'm going to put this material on circlemakerstv.org, okay? I'm going to create a special section called Everard Twathead, okay? And all the materials will be up there. So he's going to have, a, he's a, he's going to have his own page. Everard Twathead, 
okay, on uh, circlemakerstv.org. So pop over there and have a look. And, uh, you know, you better have some spare fucking brain fuses handy because you're going to blow a few. Okay, that is the video that um, Christopher Everard has tried to take down um, three, four times now. I've, lo I've actually lost count. But you can pop on over to circlemakerstv.org, Matthew's website. It's awesome. You can find this under Scandal Christopher Everard Twathead, right there. All right. And here it is, a 2015 update, evidence of Everard's sexual assaults and imprisonment for selling drugs can be found on this website. Um, you can scroll down here. You can click on these red links right here. These are the PDFs showing where Christopher Everard wants to sue YouTube for 48 million pounds. All right. You can watch the video right here. And thank you, Matthew, for that. And um, yeah, so, you know, this is a video that Christopher Everard does not want you to see, but it is protected. No matter how many times it gets taken down off of my YouTube channel, uh, Matthew has it up on his website. So just pop on over there, look at it, read the PDFs, read uh, what Matthew wrote and watch the video. Um, and I apologize if the audio in this is crap because I don't know how to... I just do screen recordings. That's all I do. I, I, I'm not a videographer. I don't claim to know about this stuff. I'm just putting information out. I'm just a normal girl trying to put out information to keep you guys safe. So, um, and I thank Matthew for doing this video. And anyway, you guys stay safe out there, stay safe on the internet, and stay away from these con men and criminals and deviant perverts like Christopher Everard. Okay? And you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.